on the move. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about uh, ticket symbol BLNK, Bling Charging. So this is a stock that we profile here on the channel. And I told you guys back then that this is one of the, the charging companies or the future of gas stations that you need to start looking at. I know we have other guys like ChargePoint, which I'm yet to cover here on the channel. I just realized that. So I'm going to do a separate video on ChargePoint and I'm going to compare the two for you guys. But today, our focus is Bling Charging charging so we're going to cover it and i'm going to give you guys my price projections and then we'll go from there so but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you want to help my work here guys just go ahead and smash that like button and hit that share button so that you can share this with people that would find the content useful. So let's jump right in. So Bling Charging again, guys, uh, went through a crazy run. Um, remember when we did that video back here on the channel, I told you guys that Bling Charging is, is up to something. Bling Charging is on the move. So you guys should better get in as soon as possible, which we a lot of you, some of you guys did. So uh, since then, Bling Charging kind of made a move from like $10 and went all the way to um, seeing higher close about $35 in less than a week or so and man everybody was just happy people were taking profit and some people didn't take any profit you know they kind of hang on to to the stock but um I, then so we hit that $35 mark and then something happened it's just pull back and people started to panic. So let's kind of walk through it here. Look, I'm gonna show you guys um, exactly how that moves. So this is a, the one month chart that I just put here. So you can do three months, uh, which you can see back in November, Bling was at $10. Look at that, November 10, Bling was at under $10. And I think that's when I did, I did that video somewhere around here and I told you guys to buy. So if you bought Bling here, look at that move. So this is November 13, it's still at under $10. It goes all the way to a high of November 23rd. It hits almost $34. <laughs> that is insane. That's almost 3X, which is awesome. And then when it hit that high, it just started collapsing, pulled back um, to the point where it got all the way close to about 20, under $22. And then people started to panic. And this is this is the part where um, I really want to talk about um, in this video today, guys, because uh, what I've seen a lot with some of you guys is, is that when there's panic, you sell and run. And then when the stock starts to go up, you jump in and buy at the, at the tip. And then it pulls back, you complain. So I want you again to refine your strategy because if your strategy is not is not perfect, if you keep making the same mistake over and over, expecting a different result, that's the definition of insanity. So I want you to fix that. You have to be smart. I want you to change your mindset, the way you invest. Don't buy at the tip and think it's gonna keep going up. Always look for opportunities for a dip. Wait for it. It's going to come to you. This is the market. You don't have control over it. Just always wait for that dip. If you see a stock like Bling goes from $10 and within two weeks it's trading at $34, $35, just pause. Just wait for a minute. Don't jump. At that point, you know for sure there has to be a pullback. It cannot keep going up like that. So just wait for that pullback and you can jump right in. So in this case for Bling, if you had waited, let's just go back to get a three. If you had waited and see right here, it, it got up to almost $34, $35. And then see, pull back all the way to $21, just December 2nd. That would be a good entry point. And see, if you had waited and then got in at $21, this thing is coming not trading at almost $31 and, and some change. So look at how just being patient in the market can definitely make a huge difference with you. But if you were one of the people that uh, was just fighting FOMO, that fear of missing out, when you saw it up here, you just jumped right in and be like, oh, I, this thing is going to keep going up and then you jump in and watch it. It flushes and then you're stuck there carrying this heavy back with rocks. Not money, because at that point you're down. So guys, this is something that I really wanted to push home for you guys. But right now, um, again, let's get back to the focus of this video, which is Bling that to me, I, I'm seeing the price projection right here. Bling is looking at testing again, that kind of 33, 35 uh, price point. Now that it's back 
to over 30. I'm, I'm anticipating that between today and Friday, um, we'll maybe Bling is going to want to break that, that 33 uh, price point and test 35. So again, this is one way you have to be smart. Wait for a little bit of pullback before you get in. Don't buy the tip and then watch that pullback. So um, I'm still bullish on Bling. Um, you guys know my strategy. I got in a Bling at about $9 um, and then it got up to that 33 I took my initial investment. Now I still have, I think I have about 150 or 200 shares of bling that I'm just holding right now. And that is profit. That, I mean, like it's not anything. That's money that bling gave me. So I'm gonna let that one ride um, for the long haul. I, I'm not I'm not selling that in any shape or form. So again, guys, um, price projection here for me, I think the way bling has crossed over that 30 after this massive pullback, it looks like that pullback is trying to fade out and then was trying to see back. So it's establishing itself again to move forward and now um, at over 30 if it can go test that 33 price point and go test that 30 33 between 33 and 35 we can see that even by Friday or uh, if not next week would be a, a good ex a good point where it can actually see that so um, I think for me now that I own this shit, I might buy some calls uh, for Bling to kind of just make sure that I enjoy some of that profit and put some money in my pocket. So um, that's what I wanted to do. Let me know in the comment section again, guys. Um, are you still holding your Bling position? If yes, did you buy the dip or are you one of the people that always buy the top and then sell the bottom? So again, that's not a, a winning strategy in the market. That was a joke. So I want you to learn the strategy, not just the buying at the top and selling the bottom. Always wait for that dip. It would come back to you. Guys, that's one thing I really want to push home. These stocks always come back. There's always a pullback. You, they don't fly and go forever. Just give it a, a, enough time, it's going to come back. And when you rush into a particular position, that's where you get burned. So I want you to be very, very um, aware of that. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Bling. Do you guys think that this is going to hit that 35 uh, price point, like I said? Or you think, oh, maybe this is just another uh, move to kind of get people excited for no good reason. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, guys, we both currently doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks. So this is a promotion that's been extended till the end of December, I think. Maybe it's a Christmas gift for, for you guys. So definitely take advantage of that. And as always, guys, always do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage, which means you should always secure profit and stay motivated.